to talk about China. Um, dramatic video yesterday from China that was kind of kind of interesting and a little bit fun and 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 spooky and everything. So, um, I mean, the news of China is what what we expected, and that is that Xi was appointed for a third term. Uh, basically, Xi has basically made himself ruler for life. He is the first uh, ruler to have uh, this kind of power and this kind of control over the Politburo, over the Chinese uh, governing authorities, governing body, uh, over the Chinese state since Mao Zedong. He is uh, almost, if not as powerful as Mao was in his heyday. And there was this event yesterday that people showed on live television because it was being broadcast in China. That's what's surprising about it. Um, they're all seated, like the front row is all the top people in the Chinese Communist Party. And right next to Xi uh, is sitting the former head of the Communist Party, the, the one who ruled there until 2013. He was there uh, from 2003 and 2013. And indeed, um, uh, while he was still an authoritarian thug, uh, he was definitely better than Xi. And it certainly 2003 to 2013 is a period known as uh, a period of opening up, opening up internationally, opening up um, of domestic markets, more uh, more free markets, if you will. It's a period of um, it's a period in which there was a lot more free speech. It's a period in which some of the free market think tanks, some of the people. Uh, it's a period in which Ayn Rand's books were all published. It's a period in which the free market think tanks were allowed to thrive and allowed to get instituted where, where, where freedom seeking professors were for the most part not completely left alone and allowed to allowed to write and publish and speak and teach um, uh, you know in um, in um, uh, in China so uh, so the previous leader whose name now escapes me and I was looking for the article with his name um, the, the the video of him being uh, escorted out is is old news I guess so uh, the uh, I, I can't find it but um, anyway so uh, basically so you have Xi sitting there and Ho Jintao thank you Brownie Ho Jintao is sitting next to him Ho Jintao is 79 years old um, so he's clearly he's clearly weak and, and he's sitting next to him and Ho Jintao obviously represents a completely different perspective on ruling China than Xi. Xi is much more authoritarian, anti-markets, anti-giving any kind of economic freedom and definitely anti any form of free speech and any form of opposition. And so Ho is sitting next to Xi and then suddenly um, these guys show up and they kind of, the guy whispers in Ho's ear and puts a hand under his uh, armpit and kind of helps him stand up. And, and there's some discussion and deliberation and, and Ho is going for papers and um, but he's being escorted out and this is the final closing meeting of the 20th Chinese Communist Party thing and it's it's a big deal this is the event and they're going to vote for Xi to be ruler for another five years and, and um, the guy sitting next to Ho Jintao, again, name I can't remember, but a, 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 I think the current premier of, of China starts standing up to kind of help Hu or to try to figure out what's going on. And the guy next to him, who's one of the chief propagandists of the, of the, of the party, basically pulls at his coat jacket and seats him back down. Don't do it. Don't stand up. You don't want to seen, be seen with Hu. So in public, in this major event on television, broadcast to the world and broadcast within China, Ho Jintao is basically humiliated, walked out of this grand meeting. No explanation is given by any of the Chinese authorities. Nothing. And, um, you know, that's it. Now, that's a big deal. That's again, um, I think Xi doing a Mao Zedong, a embarrassing uh, another leader would may, might have a power 
uh, center within the Communist Party. Um, and, and, you know, it's a Stalin Mao move uh, to kind of humiliate him in public, show who is the boss now, show that that era is gone. Um, it was dramatic. It was dramatic to see all these people sitting around and they all just accept it. They all just roll with it. And um, it was brutal. It was brutal to watch. It was brutal to see. She is a true little monster. Real monster. And a monster who will destroy China. I mean, you have to say that under Hu Jintao, Chinese growth was like four times higher, five times higher than it is under Xi. Uh, Xi is pushing China towards negative economic growth and in terms of losing whatever momentum, economic and I'd even say military momentum that, Ch that China had, it is going to start losing it significantly um, uh, as a consequence. Just some other notes that they announced the new Politburo, the new governing body in China. It doesn't have... <laughs> Many of the people who were there are gone. Many of the supporters of greater liberalization, both economically and politically, are gone. There are no women, not a single woman for the first time in a long time, on the Chinese Politburo. All men, all men loyal, sworn loyalty to Xi. This is Xi's complete and utter consolidation of his power, complete and utter consolidation of his power base. This is him cleaning house, getting rid of all opponents, this is the beginning of the end, or beginning of the slow decline. Well, it's already declining, but the continuation of the slow decline of, uh, of China as a significant, I think, military and economic force in the world. Um, and I feel sorry for the Chinese because, as you know from previous episodes uh, that I've talked about, I'm a huge fan of China, of the Chinese people, Chinese entrepreneurs, Chinese innovation. I'm a huge fan of their ability. <coughs> Uh, 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 their ability to um, uh, to be so productive and creative and, and to create so much in such a short period of time. Huge fan of, of, uh, of what China did, um, uh, you know, up until about five, six, seven years ago. Uh, somebody's arguing in the room next to me. Sounds like they're talking Chinese. So maybe it's a Chinese Secret Service listening in on me. But um, yeah, I think it's sad. I think it's sad. Uh, and, and something to watch. But she is consolidated his power. Consolidated his power. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.